Hi there, it's Jake Palmer with Remax in St. John. I'm at 121-119 Broad. I'm going to give you a quick tour of this two-family so you can have a sense of the layout and the uh, all the upgrades. Right off the bat, coming up the front steps and looking in, you'll see that it's got a new door and that's reflective of the whole house. All of the doors and windows have been replaced. And the house has been extensively renovated top to bottom. But they've done a good job of kind of maintaining the charm and character of the place as well. We'll go to the upstairs unit first. You can see that a lot of the original charm and character has been maintained, but they've done all the important upgrades, whether it's electrical, plumbing, um, all the windows and doors, the roof's been done. So really all you need here is a set of keys. At the set top of the stairs, you'll see there's a nice, very, very bright living room. Got some beautiful built-ins. Lots of windows. They're all window inserts. And so they managed to keep all of the uh, trim around the windows. A little bit of a nook for an office. See the floors up here, just beautifully refinished. Bedroom to my right. Lots of room for a double bed. And unlike a lot of older homes, every bedroom has a closet in this house. It's often a challenge when you're looking at older homes. Another bedroom over here. Using this as an, as an office currently. And the bathroom. Ceramic tile. Nice tub kit. And a nice bright dining room. And you can see that. There's lots of room in here for large furniture. Dining room looks like towards the backyard. And the kitchen. The kitchen's completely renovated. It's got a nice little breakfast island here. So you can sit on the other side. Pantry, the fridge is in the pantry. Plenty of storage. Back storage area and staircase downstairs. If you look up there, you'll see there's a 100 amp breaker panel. Each unit has its own breaker panel, as it should. And we'll head to the downstairs. Got beautiful doors as well. It's so nice to see a place where they've managed to kind of maintain that balance between new and old. Again, beautiful old hardwood floors here. These ones were lightly refinished, so they still got a lot of original patina, which is really a gorgeous way to keep these older homes. Beautiful French doors. This is the living room. Obviously, this unit's vacant. Bedroom on either side, just like upstairs. And again, each bedroom has a closet. And the bedroom over here.
fully renovated bathroom, full tub and shower, and another nice bright dining room. Again, looking up towards the backyard. Different layout for the kitchen here. Fridge right there. Stove, but again, fully renovated in the kitchen. Nice, bright, well cared for unit. I'm going to show you the uh, basement and then I'll show you the backyard. A lot of times when uh, we do videos of older homes, we avoid the basement at all costs. But in this case, it's a very, uh, very usable basement. I'll just have a quick look there. It's a very nice, dry, uh, almost partially finished space at the front part. This could make a really good office. Obviously, it's it's finished a long time ago and hasn't been used for much more than storage since, but if you want to have a nice office down at this end, you easily could. They've got storage. And then the main part of the basement. Nice usable workshop area. If you're noticing the cinder block, I'll just point out that it's uh, about four feet of concrete and then four rows of cinder block on top of that. So it is a concrete foundation, concrete footing, and a poured concrete floor, but there is uh, four rows of uh, cinder blocks just to bring the house to full height. Furnace is a natural gas furnace, just a few years old, and it's hot water, baseboard heat throughout. But as you can see, it's a really nice, dry, usable space. I will point out that there's been on heavy, heavy rains, just the smallest amount of seepage just in this corner over here, but they still use the whole basement for storage without any issues whatsoever. They just keep a little platform to set things on over there. But really, if you're a fan of older homes, this is, uh, this is the type of basement you want, really dry, usable space. I'll give you a quick tour of the yard. And this is a back kind of storage area for this unit. Of course, the stairs come down here for the, uh, for the upstairs unit. Storage shed in the backyard. Very nice fenced backyard. A patio area here and a nice grassy yard over here. The house is very nicely painted. You can see how nice the uh, contrasting trim looks, especially with those nice uh, newer vinyl inserts. You see both, uh, both units have their own door in the back. Nice wide steps. And plenty of off-street parking. You can easily get three cars here. Plenty of length here. There's currently two cars in the driveway with plenty of room for at least one more. And so that's the tour of 119, 121 Broad. If you have any questions about this property, please don't hesitate to call, email, or text. My cell phone number is 506-650-0092. And my email is jake at jakepalmer.ca.